In the future energy supply, we anticipate generation becoming increasingly more localized and volatile. That means energy will be generated when renewable energies are available and consumed when customers need the electricity. Naturally, storage systems will primarily perform a balancing function in this situation. We are currently finding that storage systems are already needed in some countries to stabilize grids sufficiently for them to accomplish this balancing act. They provide the energy when it is needed. There's nothing that can do that as well as a battery storage system can. England is a wonderful example at the moment. England, an island, has little in the way of connections to the stable continental utility grid. That means that balancing power and capacity essentially needs to be provided throughout the entire United Kingdom without the ability to share with the mainland. That can be accomplished by means of storage systems, additional power plants and extra cables. In a recent development, the United Kingdom opened up tendering to overcome capacity shortfalls, as was done in a manner that did not favor any particular technology. Bids were solicited, and the storage projects ultimately won out over other technologies, which means the battery storage systems are already the most cost-effective means of stabilizing the grid. However, that is not yet the case on the mainland, although it will happen as more renewables are added. It is, however, already the case in South Korea, which is also effectively an island. The same applies to Australia, where settlements are far apart and energy sometimes needs to be transported over vast distances. These are the differences emerging at the moment. The applications, though, are again very similar. We anticipate that grid operators can profit significantly from them and use such storage networks to overcome shortfalls at the best possible cost instead of installing new lines or digging giant trenches through inhospitable terrain. If you have one storage system at the start and one storage system at the end, you have the freedom to choose the time of transmission as you can store first and transmit later, and transmit later when the line has a smaller load. Power producers and IPPs can offer better quality electricity at lower cost. In this case, better quality means available and with lower fluctuation ranges as storage systems perform a balancing function in contrast to pure PV supplies.